goody, I'm so glad to be here. You know what? I thought you'd forgotten. No, I didn't forget you, Chesley. Well, why are you so late, Nina? I tell you, I was giving up. I know, but Chesley, I took a long nap. Well, I tell you, you're not sleeping as long as a bear. Sleep as long as a bear. Well, Chesley, they go, you know, they sleep for long, long weeks and weeks and weeks. Well, that's what this was like. Chesley, no, 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 no. I just was had the doggies there with me in my lap, and, and we just took a long nap. And I tell you, when I, Chesley, you're getting fussy here. You should be excited and say that you're glad we're up. Yeah, I'm glad we're up. And I tell you, what, are you awake? Yes, Chesley, I'm awake, and I'm ready. And we've got this Bible story, and we want to get it all ready to go here. And, and it's called Tricked by the Gibeonites. Tricked by the, tricked by the Gibeonites. Oh, Chesley, this is, you're not going to tell about Jesus' resurrection? No, Chesley, uh, we, the story of Jesus' resurrection, we had heard that preached on today, and, and you know, it's a wonderful, I taught the Sunday school lesson on it, enjoyed it very much, but this is a story that's really been touching my heart, and it's just a made-up story. No, it's not a made-up story. This is a Bible story, Chesley. That's what we always tell is Bible stories, and this is from uh, the book of Joshua. Yeah, John, Joshua 9, 1 through 27. That's Joshua 9, 1 through 27. And I'll have to look and make sure that I got that correct. I think I might have put Deuteronomy, but it is Joshua. We'll get it corrected, though, if I have it incorrect. So key, the key verse, though, in this, this whole thing, the key verse is, So the Israelites examined their food, but they did not consult the Lord, meaning they didn't pray. No, it's a dangerous thing. What kind of a story is this? It sounds kind of weird. Well, it's not. Well, it is maybe kind of weird. You know, Chesley, God had given complete directions to the children of Israel when they were going into Canaan's land. You know, because like, because it was mean. Oh, Chesley, I don't know where they mean, but they served idols. And, you know, uh, the Lord wanted his people to serve him and him only. You, you couldn't do it both ways. No, it was no both ways. Wasn't that you serve the Lord only because he was the only one true God. And he said, be careful about dealing with these people. Yeah, because they would kind of trick them. That's right. They would kind of trick them. You know, just as we get into this story and we see after uh, Joshua and Caleb how they'd made it over into the promised land and Moses had died and all, but he had left. Uh, Joshua was a great leader. And I tell you, Caleb, he was a good man. Uh, Caleb was a good man. He was right there with him. And I mean, they had had victory when no one else did, trusted in God. And so they wanted to do the right thing. And the Lord said, you have to watch these people because they're tricky. They would be tricky. Yes, justly, these people had seen, they'd heard how God had helped them when they were coming out of Egypt's bondage. You no, know, they had those great victories and I mean that sea and you know it parted and they walked across it on dry land. Yes, the Lord parted the waters and they walked across on dry land and I mean it was just miraculous what the Lord did and rolled that was the Red Sea and then the Jordan how that he rolled it back and, and they walked across there again on dry land and God had given them victory and I'll tell you what he was all kinds of things and had people scared. Word had spread and so these people there they'd seen how the walls of Jericho had just dropped down flat, just dropped down into, I mean, just away they went. And so that their protection was gone and how they'd won the victory there. And I would just, God had blessed them and helped them. And so these other countries were scared. God's good. You know, watch out. God said, watch out because they'll try to trick you. Have nothing to do with them said, well, I want you to you be true to me. Do not worship idols. Do not worship idols. That's right. So here they are, and they're going into this land, and all of a sudden, one day, here come these visitors to see them. And, he, and, and oh, my, they just look pitiful. Yeah, I tell you what, then he said, what's, what's the deal going on here? What's this deal? Well, I, what the deal is here, uh, they had sent, they were called the Gibeonites, and they lived in, in a, a, a country of, well, if they had claimed, and they what they did, they got old moldy food. Well, at first it started out, they said, was really good food. And they said, look here. Well, the people was leery of them. And they better seek the face of God. Chesley, you watch this. They didn't. They checked these people out, and they were suspicious of them. And then and they didn't trust them. They, they didn't trust them. Oh, and these people come, and they said, oh. And they said, well, who, who are you? Tell us something about you. Oh, they said, oh, we're just ambassadors that's sent, been sent from our country. Country. They said we're really good people. We're really good people. And said our our food and we we just uh, we just want to be your friends and all. And said our our food. And they checked their food. They said look at this. Oh, 
oh, our food was just hot out of the oven, and said, oh, and just check everything that we have. And so they checked it, and they said, oh, well, I think they're telling the truth. And that's what they said. They said, they're telling the truth, these people. Yeah, and, and, and Joshua demanded, who are you, and where did you come from? And I think he was getting kind of rough with them, and he was trying to scare them up, you know. And so they said, well, we come from a far country, and, 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 and you know, we've heard of your many military victories all. We want you to know that we're on your side. Yeah, that was, they said, we're on your side. And we, we, we just want you to know we are friends with you. We, we you know, we, 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 we're just from a way far away. And just, we just want you to know uh, that we're all for you. Well, so Joshua, we see it. Joshua made a, a big, big mistake, Jesse, right here. He checked, he said to the fellows, now you check out all their food, check their clothing, yeah, make sure they're not telling us any lies. And they checked it out and they said, Joshua, he, they're telling the truth. These people, they're just worn out. They are just exhausted. They need a nap. Yeah, they needed a nap. Said, oh my, it's just awful what they've been through. These people are telling the truth. They're going to be good friends of ours. And so Joshua said, let's just take them in. That's what Joshua said. We'll make what we call a treaty with them. We'll make a deal with them. They will take care of them. That's right, they said. And the Lord had said, don't you make any treaties with these people. Don't you make any kind of deals with them. They are, they're, they're going to be, he said, it's going to be like thorns in your eyes and your son. <laughs> thorns in your eyes. Thorns in your eyes. That's kind of scary. He said, that's what they're going to be that miserable to you if you do this. Do not make agreements with any of these people. They are idol worshipers. They didn't check any of that out. They just said that they're telling the truth. That's what they, they said. That, well, we think they're telling the truth. And so Joshua and all of the leaders, they made a treaty with them and agreed that we're with you. <coughs> do you need if they got in trouble, they had to help them? That's what they had to do. If they got in trouble, they were going to be there to help them. Well, you know, Chelsea, about three days later, you know what they found out? that they were from some cities. There was a group of them, and this is one of the cities was Gibeons. They, they just called them all Gibeonites. And these cities were just a ways away, about three days' journey. Oh, no, they lied to them. But, Chesley, you know what the big mistake was, was that Joshua did not pray. Well, the Bible tells us that he did not consult the Lord, meaning he didn't pray. He didn't ask God. You, you know what? I think he thought he didn't need to. Uh, you know, Chesley, I think you're right. He thought, I don't need to. I've checked the, I've, my fellows, you know, my leaders here have checked them out. And, you know, those guys, they're telling the truth. But Chesley, they weren't telling the truth. And the Lord, the Lord knew, the, knew the truth if they had only listened. But because they had made this treaty, they had made this promise, God had it fixed. You're going to have to deal with them. And so anytime those people got in trouble, <laughs> what do you mean? Well, Chesley, if an enemy came against them, no, what's going to happen? Well, they come, they would come running. This happened again and again. They would come to Joshua and they'd say, we've got to have help. Here comes this these people after us. <laughs> they had to leave their own families to go take care of that bunch. Yes, they did, Chesley. They had to leave their own, and they had to go and take care of all these battles. And it wound up just what the Lord said. They're just going to be a problem. They were a problem. From I mean, it was awful. Chesley, what can we learn from this, Chesley? Is it, we don't know everything. We don't know everything, but who does? If God does, and he wants to help. He wants to help. So I've heard people say sometimes, well, I don't think you have to pray about some things. You know, Chesley, we do. We need to pray about everything because there may be something sneaking around we don't know. That's right. There may be something sneaking around we don't know about. God knows everything. And he wants us to have really a good life. As good as good Now, we know as long as we live in this world, we're going to have some issues. But we don't need to create our own problems. That's right. We don't want to create our own problems. And so that's what he found out. And what we need to know, that we have Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to help us. And we have God's Word. We have God's Word. That's right. We pray. We read God's Word. And it gives us help. We have specific situations that come up to us. And, you know, we want to make sure we do the right thing. And so we pray until the Lord, we, we, we need help. We need help. And He can guide us. You know, Chesley's given parents to help. We're so glad that if our parents pray and seek the Lord, you know, Chesley, the Lord is just there to help us. He's there to guide us. We're thankful for our Sunday school teachers. We're thankful for our pastors. We're just thankful, Lord. The Lord has given us friends. Yet love the Lord and serve Him and tell us the, the right thing. Oh, I tell you what. we got to watch our attitude. We, yes, we have to watch our attitude. Some people will say, well, here, here's what I think. I think that... Uh, that I, I think what it, the Lord wants me just whatever. If it's something really good and something I want, I think He wants me to have it. 
Jesse, that's not always the case. And he comes, he knows what's his. He may know that that maybe is not the best thing. So let's, we just have to watch our attitude instead of saying, because I want this, I know God wants me to have it. We've got to just wait on the Lord, and we need to get make sure that we know the Lord. And just went, like we said, we have parents. We have maybe grandparents that help us make right decisions. They've lived longer than us. Even that they're wiser. They are wiser in many cases. But let's remember that. Joshua was a great and mighty man of God. But we know he missed it here. And he would say that too. He'd say, he would. He would say, I missed it. There was more than once. There was another time that it had come time to go into a battle. And they would say, oh, it's a little bitty city. And they had just had this great victory of Jericho. And he didn't even pray about it. He said, oh, just send about 3,000 soldiers. And yeah, it didn't turn out to you. It didn't turn out well at all because he didn't seek God. But I tell you what, the next time he did, and God gave him the victory. So even though Joshua was a great and mighty man of God, he made a mistake and may we know that we, we're certainly not greater than them, and we're not greater than God. So the Lord has our best interest in mind. And you, well, they, got tri they got tricked by the Gibeonites, but it was their own fault. You know, Chesley, we have to just own up sometime. And I tell you what, the road to happiness is obedience to the Lord and serving Him. I tell you, the road to heaven, that's the road to heaven is living with Jesus forever and ever. Chesley, that's going to happen one of these days, but right now, what's happening to you is you're going to bed. I didn't sing the theme song. Okay, you didn't sing your theme song. This goes through the train, it's chugging a train, chugging a train, this chugging a train, this goes through the train, it's chugging a train, chugging to the glory land, get on board, this goes through the train. Yes, you can, yes, you can, get on board, this goes through the train. Yes, you can, yes, you can. Chesley. This gospel train is going to the glory land to see Jesus. And yes, we are, but still, you're going to bed. All right, I had to go to bed. I love you. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time, okay? Yes, Chesley, it's okay. We love you. We look forward to seeing you all back. You have a great rest of the Easter weekend.